good. Well, here at Badwater, Death Valley, we, we've just walked out from the parking lot about a, probably half a mile into the uh, salt flats here. And the first two thirds of this little hike is pretty flat. The trails trampled everything down. Once you get out past the end, it just really emerge, all these crystals emerge. You get a real nice contrast of all these uh, shapes against the, the sky out here. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty stark, but it's uh, very unusual and it's a pretty much a signature Death Valley situation. And what we've got set up here is a tripod with a super wide lens. I've got the 11 to 18 Tamron lens at 11 millimeters with a polarizer and a lens shade because we're shooting almost directly into this sun that's still fairly low in the sky. And with this wide lens, it's making these mosaic tile patterns look huge and really three-dimensional um, against that real minimal mountain range in the background there. And it makes the mountains look like they're miles away. So they get that distortion of a typical wide-angle lens, yet we don't have any problems with any vertical lines here to deal with. So I can actually tip this camera down and it changes a little bit of the shape of the, of the uh, patterns on the ground, but it doesn't matter because you, you don't know. You couldn't ever do this with an with a architectural situation in a, in a city or with trees because you'd actually get all the bowing and the converging lines. But out here where you have nothing to reference to except just uh, random patterns, it's perfect. So this is an excellent place to use a wide angle lens. Got the self timer going. We're at F16 at a 60th for the polarizer. And let me check it out here. Looks nice. Instagram indicates that even though there's a lot of white in the in the scene, we're still holding some of that highlight information and should be perfect.